Hey guys, this is Russ. Thanks for tuning in. Today is your favorite day of the week, bench day. So today I'm going to be working on trying to get as much weight up as possible. Also try to get some reps in to get the blood flow in your pecs so you can get a nice pump. So you see I start my warm up set out uh, extremely light, uh, only putting 135 on the bar. I'm going to hit between 7 and 8 reps, trying to keep that perfect form, locking in your leg drive, hitting your center line, making sure you're really feeling it. Uh, continuing, uh, this is just a little bit more weight. You're going to see the uh, working set starting in a four to five rep range, five sets. Uh, all the while, I'm going to try to increase weight. So for me, if the reps go down a little bit and the weight goes up, I'm okay with that. Uh, today's not a day where I'm trying to get hypertrophy. So continuing my working sets, you see there's a little bit more weight on the bar. Again, concentrate on just keeping your shoulders tight keeping your elbows tight, that way you can really get the full range of motion, not injuring your shoulder. You'll see I use a decent amount of leg drive while still keeping my butt on the bench. Here, I, I think I hit the reps pretty well. It's uh, not moving as well as I'd like, but hey, you know, it gives me something to shoot for. Now this is gonna be some sub-maximal work. I'm doing a little bit more weight. Just gonna hit two to three reps for three sets. It always helps when you're trying to shoot for a maximum weight or a maximum bench. You should be comfortable moving a certain amount of weight. So I usually try to end my workouts at least using a little bit more heavier weight so it's not just about getting a pump. And you'll see this is continued here. I think I'm just shy of 225. I'm, I think this is like 205. Um, here still trying to hit a decent amount of reps. Just getting a good amount of work in. And this is a drop set. Uh, if you ever feel like your energy is a little bit low and you want to do something to kind of just help you get that peak, sometimes a drop set helps. You're going to move it a lot faster. You're going to do a lot more reps. Uh, this is something I utilize pretty frequently, especially if I feel like my rep range isn't where I want it. I'll drop the weight down, do a drop set, and then come back and do more maximal work. And, I, you know, it always helps. So here, this is a little bit more maximal work. I'm going to do one to two reps for up to three sets. So you see with this, the first rep is going to move pretty easily actually. Uh, just from the way it pops off the bench, it just goes down to my chest. Here, touch and go. <clears throat> that was pretty easy again. And then the next rep, a little bit more difficult, but you don't really see it going in a negative direction. So that's good. So next, here I am just trying to load my back, flex my lats out a little bit, that way I can get a little bit more drive, be a little bit more stable on the bench. Here, comes off the rack pretty quick, down slow. And this was a little bit of a grinder, but, but not that bad. And next, we're gonna do some close grip. Now this is just to help get that pump to your uh, triceps because you know the strongest part of your muscle is going to be your tricep and it's really going to help contribute to having a big bench and I really do want to grow my bench so I'm trying to hit my triceps from as many angles as possible. Now another contributing muscle group to your bench is going to be your shoulders. So I always try to end my bench day with some sort of either overhead press or dumbbell press. Here I'm doing an overhead push press four to five reps. Um, gonna try to do five sets you could do you know eight reps by three sets it would be just as beneficial now here is just some crazy work I like to do at the end just something to help keep my shoulders mobile just helps keep me from being so tight after a workout and you know in the following day so I'm ready to get back to the gym and train uh, definitely don't have to follow this this is just something I do again just to increase mobility and then in the end just try to get a little bicep pump going because hey who doesn't want to have big biceps right well that's all i have for today's video i hope you enjoyed if you have questions please rate subscribe leave comments below we'll be posting more thanks for tuning in